Break yourself up on man, Street Certified News. And we back with another one. Man, today, man, I just wanted to chill with y'all, man, vibe with y'all. We doing one on the boy Tay 600. You know what I mean? Gangster slash rapper turned blogger. A lot of people think he a rat. We went and did some research, man. And that's what we found out. Again, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. Rock with your boy, man. And raise so far, folks. Street certified news. Now on to the show. On the night of February 21st, 2014, a group of friends in Chicago attended a party at 39th Street and Wentworth Avenue in the Wentworth Garden housing apartments. Friends Clint Massey and Courtney Ely, aka Rondo Number no. 9 and C Day, were already household names within the drill culture. And with them, Dramonte Carpenter, aka Tay 600, Jerome Anderson, aka Lil Boo, were three girls Caprice Johns, Jasmine Brown, and Takia Herbert. A short amount of time after getting to the party, Rondo, Sita, and Takia would leave in her vehicle. Tay 600 would stay along with Lil Boo and the two other girls, Caprice and Jasmine. At some point during the party, Caprice would get into an argument with a different group of girls, known as Pretty and Pink. And during that argument, an unknown person would fire a gun multiple times into the air, effectively ending the kickback. After running to Caprice's car, Lil Boo would drive the group away while Tay 600 made a phone call. He would put the call on speakerphone while they told C Day and Rondo what just happened. The group would later drive to the Wendy's on 55th and the Dan Ryan to meet with Rondo and C Day. And by that time, fellow friend D Rose and an unknown person would also pull up in their own vehicle. The group of three cars then drove back in the direction of Wentworth Gardens. This is where the death of Javon Boyd would tragically occur while he waited in his car for cab fare. Both Herbert and Johns would eventually be questioned as witnesses of the shooting and made statements implicating both Rondo and c -Day. Herbert said she saw Massey and Ely open Boyd's car and then saw Massey firing a gun. According to Caprice Johns, Massey and Ely spoke to Boyd, and then John saw a light flash from a gun and Boyd jumping as if he was being shot. The shooting was also captured on surveillance cameras belonging to the Chicago Housing Authority, which owned the Wentworth Gardens housing project. After leaving the scene of the shooting, all three vehicles drove to the Shell gas station on 55th Street. This is where it's believed C.D. realized he left his cell phone at the scene of the crime. By the time Caprice Johns drove back to the scene of the crime, police had already cornered off the area and would not allow her to enter. Police did in fact find that cell phone in the middle of the street near the victim's vehicle. Police would later connect that cell phone to C-Day and match a set of fingerprints to him found on the victim boy's vehicle. Admittingly, there were a number of people in those three cars on February 24th, and it is known that the girls had already made statements and became witnesses of the crime. So why does everyone think Tay 600 snitched? Well, on March 14th, 2014, the Chicago Gang Task Force Unit made an arrest on an unnamed gang member. In the official report that was obtained by FOI request to the Chicago Police in 2020, police alleged that the gang member was notified that they had evidence of his presence during the murder of Javon Boyd. The paperwork also gives a hint about who this person potentially is when they revealed that he was a rapper and had gone by two different street names. Once confronted with this info, the gang member gave a full statement on the night of February 21st and implicated Clint Massey and Courtney Ely a number of times as the perpetrators of the murder. Though the police never used this information in the trial, 
a record remained of the encounter. As the trial day neared, Team 600 members began to name Tay 600 as the possible gang member who cooperated. Most likely due to redacted paperwork given to their lawyers during discovery. However, during that time, it was only rumors. Once Rondo and C. Day were convicted of murdering Boy, however, certain documents began to show up online. In 2017, Team 600 founder E Day finally revealed paperwork that seemed to show Tay 600, aka Jermonte Carpenter, was the gang member who gave information to the police after being arrested on that day in March 2014. At the time, it seemed to cooperate with the streets had been whispering since 2015. By that time, Little Boo had been shot and killed. D Rose was arrested on an unrelated charge and Tay 600 had just beat a gun charge rather quickly. However, upon further investigation into the document, it had appeared to be altered, which led many people to calling it fake paperwork. Earlier in the video, we mentioned that records on this case have been released a few different times since 2017, and that a FOI request had been made in 2020 which made obtaining documents fairly easy when doing the research. It also means that we are not breaking this story or reporting any new information. Since 2020 and that FOI request, the official documents have been released and seem to match perfectly with previously claimed fake paperwork that Ide released back in 2017. From our analysis, it looks like Ide, who knew that gang member who got snatched back in 2014, he believed it to be Carpenter, a.k.a. Tay 600, a.k.a. Tay Capone. So he took the official document, which was redacted, and he simply pasted Carpenter where his name would go. And not surprisingly, when you look at the FOI documents, and you get to page 38 where they mention rounding up the gang member, it's the exact same document. The only thing missing is Tay 600's name is blacked out. Other than Rondo and C Day, only Tay, Boo, and D Rose were pursuing rap careers. So, what other rapper slash gang member, known to be present at the time of the murder of Javon Boyd, do we know cooperated? That's why everyone thinks Tay 600 is a snitch. It's your boy Marcel Guapo, man. Street certified news, the most reputable source for urban media. Hit that like, subscribe, and comment. We out.